The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the new media factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Would you come if I asked you to mind me on this one way road that leads? Well, I don't know, but I will take you one way you see. I know what you need and what you got is exactly what I Welcome to Counterflow. I'm James Deacon. I'm Alan Ranch. Pacho Blanco. And we'll be taking your relationship advice calls uh, over this. Look, sorry, after last week. After oh, last week, Gabe just did on uh, Mo Show. I found a calling. I have a new calling. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't listen to it. No, I didn't. Man, I was going to. Pacho, though. Uh, I, 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 I think he was, he was just. No, outrageous. man, it, it was just like, you know, I, I felt like I was in, never mind. This is a car okay. show. If uh, you don't like cars, tune out now because it's just going to get worse from here. It's all down here. <laughs> yeah. Where if it's on the road, we're going to put it on the air. We're going to be talking to you live until uh, about 8.45, 8 something 45, like that, yeah. before yeah. the Relationship Advice Show comes on with Mo Twister. Um, yeah. That's coming up at 9 o'clock. Also, um, you can talk to us over Facebook. We'll be checking your messages. You can go to Counterflow uh, page. Just look it up on Facebook or it's uh, Mr. Dot Counterflow. So Facebook.com backslash Mr. Dot Counterflow. Uh, we'd love to hear from you there. But if you're the real talkative type and you really want to get something off your chest, you want to ask something, either the Patra, Alan, or myself, or our guests who are coming up later on the show, you can also give us a call on 478 7954. We'll put you live on the air and you will be beaming. Not just nationwide, but internationally. Internationally, yeah. They will hear you in places where your mother warned you about. All right, <laughs> let's go. Um, mm. I think we should start with... With uh, the Chevrolet Vega. I, why not? It's a perfect place to start because we just came from there, Alan and I. We just mm. celebrated uh, with them as they launched their, formally launched their Trailblazer and their Sonic. Mm. And they launched this new ad that they had. Remember that? Yeah, ad? I remember that. This, ad. this lovely Chevy ad. Yeah, and the... Uh, in the ad, I saw Pacho. In the ad was Pacho Blanco. Oh, no, I wasn't. You there. were. Oh, are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you were, here we were sitting there, completely independent, yeah. by the way, motoring show, unbiased, and we're yeah. like, it's a good ad. Is that Pacho? I love this <laughs> Holy smoke. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, That's so amazing. you won't be getting any uh, car advice from Pacho for ever. Yeah. Because, yeah. You know, no, I, but, I, I, I clearly told Chevy, you know, that. You know, the swimming on my fish pond, that was something personal. <laughs> I, I didn't, anyway, you guys watch the, the ad. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a really <laughs> good ad. Do you have that, uh, James? Sorry, with you, do you have that? Or is it out already? Um, you know, I, I saw it on Facebook. As a matter of fact, if you're really curious, what you can mm -hmm. do is you can go to Facebook and go to the Chevrolet Philippines page, and they have it featured there. And they've got a bunch of whole other endorsers, like Ian e King, King um, um, of course, the Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Hill. Mainstay. Um, a few other people and there's just some regular customers that they've got that, that decide to speak and somewhere along the line Pacho Blanco will just jump just, out yeah. and <laughs> but you've seen it Pacho right have you seen it let's go to okay what, what has happened on the <laughs> no, why did you want to talk about it no not Chevy Phil uh, Chevrolet <laughs> Philippines you know we can actually stream that Pacho yeah, oh, yeah it's yeah. a good it's a good segue when we well, bring our no, guests no, in don't do that. yes we where can where is it it's better than the Gangnam video that you had. <laughs> do, do we still have that? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can play that before we play this uh, ad. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's the end of it. You me. guys talk among yourselves while that's I... That's the just, end uh, of it, you know. It was very well, how's the tuning scene, Pacho? I remember last week mm -hmm. we were talking about uh, dynoing a lot of cars. There was a drag race. If yeah, the there, was, there was a drag race. Uh, there was a, it was a pretty good event. Mm -hmm. um, so you were there? No, I didn't. Okay. I was at home celebrating the birthday of my wife. Oh, Happy I birthday, see. honey, again. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we, we had a fun with, with my wife and everything. And then, uh, but I, some of the cars were doing very okay. They're still, they're still having some issues with the, with the traction. 
And then is it uh, because of the tires? The, the tire no, choice? it's because of the of the surface of the asphalt over ah, here. Okay. Okay. This is the difference. Um, <clears throat> um, the racetrack here is a uh, all-purpose racetrack. Yeah, it's not a dedicated. Yeah, it's not a dedicated racetrack. So they have just only one long main straight, and that's what basically they use for drag race. Mm -hmm. There's uh, drag, the circuit. Yes, exactly. There's and also go kart, change. They have uh, uh -huh. they have little stalls. And then, and then uh, a feeding field for the cow. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, it works uh, 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 anyway, no. And then um, the difference is like when I was uh, some of the racetracks I was able to visit in the states, mm -hmm. you know, Pomona, Carsbelt, all those. Um, basically, the the first half of the racetrack is made of concrete. Mm -hmm. All right, why do they make it out of concrete? Because the concrete is a lot harder than the asphalt, mm -hmm. and it can can support a lot of more heat than the asphalt. The asphalt you put it a little bit too hard, and it's gonna you know come mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Okay. And then on top of this asphalt, the 330 feet, they just gonna put a lot of track bites. You know, it's a chemical. The I I walk over there. Once you walk there, and if you don't have your rubber shoes tied properly. The shoe is gonna lift there. That's the what you call it, track bike. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Track so that one generates a little good, good traction. Then the other portion, the half of the track, you know, from basically from the 660 until the 1340 or the end, the finish line, is already made of asphalt because mm -hmm. you know the traction is not required so much. But what they need is really, really smooth okay. because you're doing easily. Some of some of the cars finish there are around. 180, 190 miles per right. hour. So, um, you know, the traction here right now locally, we got some of the cars, we, we got we got good power. Uh, we got a Honda doing already 800 horsepower. We got yeah. the Evo doing close to 1,000 horsepower. That's an Integra? It was that the Integra? Yeah, the Integra. Right? Yeah, but, but the thing is, first, second, third gear, just spinning the wheels like crazy. Oh, okay. So, well, we hope one day we can get a we, proper track. We track. didn't have that problem with the Sonic. Sonic? Uh, no, <laughs> we didn't have that. Ever. Yeah. Sorry, because we were supposed to talk about Chevrolet. Like, uh, I just don't remember. With a 1.4 engine. With yeah. a 1.4 engine, yeah. yeah. Um, you sorry, that, sorry, but. You said that we have to talk because you were looking. No, but uh, I, I found it on YouTube, but uh, the thing is, we can't stream it. Uh, it needs to be in your video folder first. Oh, you have to download it first. Um, so, anyway, but you can go there and uh, you can just check it out. Uh, Chevrolet Philippines, it's up there. It's called My Chevy Story. And yeah, you'll see you'll see Blanco there. That, that, that was like Al and I were like, whoa! Look at just a celebrity. Mm. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, and he'll be reviewing the new Ford uh, in just a little while. <laughs> That's not going to go well, obviously. No, no, no. Of course not. He's not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Thank you, guys. What did I do to you? <laughs> you women. Endure it. Never mind. Um, let's go back to this. So, so Alan and I came from uh, from this new event. Yeah. Uh, Chevrolet had this. They did a Trailblazer and a Sonic, Sonic launch because these are the two latest models. And of course, the Trailblazer needs their introduction. Um, there's Hot a, commodity. I heard the wait list is sixty per dealership. Sixty per dealership. So, like oh that's uh, they got a huge waiting list for that car. I mean, rightfully so. It's a great, great SUV. How long will they be able to fulfill all those sixty per well, dealer? Well, you know, it's hard to say. I mean, this is what everyone waiting in line is asking. Yeah. But um, it's it's a good problem to have. I mean, if you're gonna pick a problem. Pick that, right? Uh, but maybe they can they can sort of push Thailand a little bit to ramp up production or mm -hmm. not just production allocation. Um, maybe they, they did anticipate this would be a seven. The nice thing is, you know, it's a, it's a diesel engine. It's yep. a good diesel engine. A and Duramax. It, it's got a 2.8 engine. They have two variants. They have the 2.5 and the 2.8. And the 2.8 is best in class power. Oh yeah. In terms of like 180 torque. and 470. So 180 uh, horsepower, 470 newton meters. Um, I believe the 3.2 Montero is not even pushing mm -hmm. those yeah. figures out. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a very smooth idling uh, engine. Very, very nice for NVH. And it's also got a six speed that's also first in class. Mm -hmm. Six speed auto. Auto. Yeah, so you can just imagine. So six speed you know. auto is first in class. It's got the best warranty, five years. Um, it's also got uh, five can, link, five link uh, suspension. It, yeah, suspension. Actually, when we tried it on the rough course, actually, I found uh, the suspension. Awesome. Like well, it's that soft. was because they really, that was the Achilles heel of the Fortuner Montero. Well, Montero, no, improved much on the Fortuner. But with the, the new Fortuner, the Fortuner they were able to uh, solve the problem by installing, uh, they tweaked the suspension at the same time they put springs on the seats. 
So mm-hmm. uh, it's very comfy now. It is, but it's still you're you're still sort of and a, a and, and, and a taller tire profile. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Continue with the shape. Um, so yeah, so that we, we, we were able to do this this course where we were going down this yeah. in Highlands. They rented this area where we went and demonstrated hill descent control. Hill descent and control, and uh, w- w- the other one is uh, the start. Uh, what they're, what it, it's a the hill. Um, it's an incline and decline uh, feature. Yeah, I think they call. I can't remember what they call it, but basically it's a hold function, a hill hold yeah. function. Which is some cars have this already, you know. When you're on a hill, like yeah. the Super Forester, yeah, yeah, Super Forester, manual or automatic. The I Cayenne. mean, obviously, it's more important with the manual. But even with automatic, it's that moment when you're on a steep hill and you got your foot in the brake, and then that when you lift off, just that little. And you know how Filipino yeah, drivers love right. to get yeah. right up on your tail, so it yeah, could exactly. be just that little boom. Uh, it'll hold that mm-hmm. for three seconds. That was pretty good. Um, mm-hmm. I also thought, okay, so the Sonic, they had a gym kind of type of thing. thing yeah. uh, it's a course where you had to stop, you know, yes. do some activity. You to, this it was time. This is how you did it. It was timed, right? Mm-hmm. But it was achieving a perfect time, like a Sampaguita rally. Ah, yeah. oh, okay, okay. Right. So well, bracket. Yeah, so you had to go around time. and it was, let's say, two. I, has, I got best time of the time. day, though. You, you got but that minutes. wasn't the point. <laughs> the point was to get two minutes and ten. Ten I was, seconds. I was yeah. like one fifty, and you know. But the point was to actually yeah, nail the two twenty. Yeah. And uh, mm. how they did this in the beginning, you would go around and then you would drive fairly briskly, and then they had a couple of activities that you would do, like, like for Angry example, Birds, so real Angry Birds, real Angry Birds. Yeah, I mean, like, Section. have you ever wanted to actually? And, and get the pigs, and the guy who was manning it would actually do yeah. that. You know, the, the, the pig sound, it was really cool. Uh, then there was a graffiti wall with spray and that. Yeah. So, you know, well done to Chevrolet. I think they, I think they had a fantastic it's event. It's a wonderful event. We, everybody yeah. enjoyed the, their event. We stayed there in um, Bellevue Hotel. In Bellevue Hotel, but okay. I don't think they really care about where we stayed yeah, what we ate. <laughs> they want to know what we drove and what you yeah. think. What I think with the uh, with Trailblazer, okay, first, about, yeah, Trailblazer, yeah. Trailblazer is a fantastic SUV. I think it's one of the best out there. But I'm really not sure about the price. You told me that it's uh, more expensive than the Fortune. When I say more expensive, it, it's a, it's pegged around the same price. So mm-hmm. you can go up to 1.3. It starts at 1.3, 1.3 for the amazing. basic 4x2, and mm-hmm. then it goes up to about 1.7-ish, yeah. like that, for the top of the line 4x4. When I say more expensive, um, those are the prices of the, more, the Montero and the Fortuner. Fortune. However, um, because they're at the end of the life cycle already, they're throwing in a lot more goodies. Like they got the DVD systems, the navigation, the kitchen mm. sink, the massage chairs, whatever. You know, I mean, they just keep throwing stuff yeah. at it. Uh, so as a consumer, you're like, wow, I get all these goodies. But if you go for the Trailblazer, you're going for a completely all new platform. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing I noticed about this, uh, the space is really. I think it's bigger than the. It, it's the biggest. It's, it's the it biggest in its class. And That's why the whole event was big and fun. Fun, yeah. That was their whole theme, big and fun. It sits seven comfortably inside the, the yes. Trailblazer, so it's a fantastic buy. Now, what about Sonic? So, what, what, what's your? The Sonic, I really love the design of uh, the Sonic. The yeah, front, the, the front end, is beautiful. It's beautiful. Plus, uh, if you see the trunk, it's crazy. It's got three layers. The first layer, just like what Ron was was uh, telling us the first layer is for the spare tire, the second layer is for your notebook computer, and then the last one is for the big storage. Wow. Yeah, really, really cool I stuff. didn't know that, I didn't see that. I yeah, didn't you were able to check the, the rear because we were just driving the car. Yeah, and understeering and oversteering. <laughs> last year, I, mean, I was like too busy not hitting the sidewalk, but um, it could do with a bit more power though. Yes, that's I what I noticed because uh, we had to drive briskly because we, we were we were following that time, the two minute, yeah. 10 seconds. And we I just noticed that uh, it just lacks the uh, torque. Well, what do you expect? It's got a 1.4 inch. But by, by comparison, the Hyundai Accent, that's also got some, you know, I mean, yeah. it's about 1.6. 1. And... Um, the Accent is 1.5. 1. 1. 1.5. Yeah, 1. But it's got a lot of torque. So, yeah, it's... it's uh, that, that wouldn't be its selling point, but it's got great looks. It's got some yeah. great connectivity and stuff inside. So, pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Um, so, overall, I think those are the two best or the <laughs> models, the newest no. models they have. And I like them. Obviously, Pacho I was, I, I'm, He went on TV to say he likes them, so <laughs> don't need to ask him anymore. But just in case, what do you think? I, I'm just wondering what what could be the the, the fuel consumption of the Trailblazer. 
Um, because I mean, I it's, 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 it's a very efficient diesel. Engine. Were you able to drive with that a six-speed long drive? I mean, the, yes, the I can tell. You. I, I did, but you know, I've, I've done many extensive long drives with the Trailblazer, but not enough to do my own fuel consumption okay. tests because these were controlled tests by them. But I can tell you that the Colorado, the 2.8, which is exactly the same vehicle, same engine, same driveline, same chassis, okay. same everything the, is the same. Slightly lighter. But it's slightly lighter. But it's, you know, how Montero is based on Strada and Fortuna is based on the Hilux. This is yeah, based something like that. On the Colorado. So same platform, uh, lighter, of course. I can only tell you that it was slightly better than my Ranger. But the Ranger is 3.2 and this is 2.8. Um, I'm getting 200 horsepower, 470 newton meters, and this is getting 180 and 470. But you are not using those horsepower. Huh? You are not using those horsepower. What do you mean? Why? Because you are driving in the city. Yeah. In, true, I mean, true, true. No, but I'm yeah. just saying. You know, if, if you were, you're, if you want to use it, it's there. But I'm driving normally, driving side to side, the Colorado. 2.8 and the 3.2 wild track that I have. You don't see that I much got, difference. I got better consumption with the, Colorado. with the Colorado. But in terms of power, you really won't notice it, right? Mm -hmm. In terms, if you compare the Colorado and the, the Ranger. Uh, it's not. It's not far off. I mean, yeah. 20 horsepower like that when yeah, you got yeah. that much torque, mm -hmm. you don't really you, feel you, it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's very small to to be yeah. able to feel it on the driving and everything. No? So, right. but what what was the figures that you got on the Colorado? Um, okay, on, on my Ranger, if I'm if I'm careful, I'm getting um, if I'm careful, and I'm not saying you know ridiculously like oh you know no aircon windows up and all yeah. that. I'm talking just driving under two thousand, trying to be a bit more mindful about where I'm you know oh reading the situation. I find that drive that way. Yeah, James, I find that Are you kidding me? That's easy. I mean, you know, when you have to pay for your own gas, it's easy to do that. <laughs> but it's always free. So <laughs> well, no, well, the thing is. I, I, I'm lucky enough to be able to, I, and you should be too, so this, this analogy should well, work. I with. drive normally. I'm lucky, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. You have a normal video of Pacha driving? <laughs> you got one of those? Let's, yeah. let's just see. What, let's just see. Yeah, Are no, you saying, no. What is Pacha's that's, that's normal that, drive? That, that's, that's okay, here's Pacha's normal drive. Here you go. That's Pacha's normal drive. <laughs> right outside Auto Plus. That's just, <laughs> that's just going to get straw mine. <laughs> That's all he's doing. So I'm just saying, when I drive like this, because sometimes with with my job, I'm very lucky that I'm able to drive great cars, race tracks. You're you're given opportunities where you can like even the Sonic. I had a lot of fun actually, of course. because everyone's in the same car. It's only yeah. not fun if you're in a 1.4 and somebody else in a powerful car. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of fun. It's all relative. I mean, we're sliding around right. corners, lots of understeer, but predictable understeer. Yeah, uh, you're the only one burning the tires there. <laughs> he really yeah. wanted to win. <laughs> no, I just wanted to have fun. I just wanted to have fun. I knew I wasn't going to win the, the Angry yeah. Birds competition. So I just decided to just have fun with the car. Right. And yeah. it, is, it is, I have to say, a lot of fun. Not the most power, but a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So um, having said that, my Ranger, I was getting about 10 kilometers a liter. 10, 10.2. Wow. I got about 11 with uh, Colorado. Same that, type of that one is uh, city, city, city. Because highway, I'm getting 17, 16, and that 16.5. How about your Ranger, Pacha, with all the uh, ticking and everything? No, the fuel consumption of the Ranger is. It, I mean, our, my Ranger is okay. The problem is the driving. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. So a bit. All right. No, you know what is become okay. If I'm driving alone, the fuel consumption is really okay. Oh, okay. The problem is when I go go, go with my family. Mm -hmm. Joshua, the only thing he said is, Daddy, go fast! Daddy, go fast! Yeah. Daddy, go fast! <laughs> you know, I'm gonna get a video of that little kid. And then when you say, Daddy, one, please go fast! So I step on the gas, he feel the torque. Yeah. And I go first gear, second gear. When I wanna put third gear, wow, Daddy, drift! Drift! <laughs> <laughs> no, we cannot drift! You try. you try. No, there are too many cars around. Please. How, how old is he? Please. Three years old. Gosh, how, right. how can you say no? Okay. When your kid says please. We're going to have a problem here. We're going to have a problem. And Diana also. Please, Daddy, drive. And he's, she's five. <laughs> That's crazy, Pacho. All right. So um, basically, we, we better introduce our guests. Yeah, we, we got a, a slightly <laughs> shorter show. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I didn't give out the number again, but uh, just in case, we, we haven't even paused to take a breath, so of course, how are they going to call? 478-7954. Uh, 478-7954. 
right? Yeah, One so last time. 478-7954. If you want to talk to us, um, we'd love to have you on the show. In the meantime... So, okay, yeah, basically what we're going to be talking about is, you know, <laughs> if I said something, they might show the video of the Mustang. But you know, <laughs> I'm, I, you know I, I like to drive normally and I'm really concerned about the environment. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the uh, air pollution and everything. Yeah, so the we're have the air. Been doing it. <laughs> no, no, it's different. Anyways, we we're gonna play a video so like that. You know, the our our guests can come okay, up here right. and then. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is a video of what we got here. I don't. Oh, well, apparently you didn't brief the. No, the, I don't know. We don't have the video. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Was this a video of the Mustang? Were you yeah, coming out? Yeah. That's oh, sometimes. you know, um, it's a lot. Of, you can you can go on Facebook and see that we we had Pacha do this major, major, major <laughs> burnout on Edsa, where he just completely covered Edsa in smoke. smoke. You couldn't yeah. see it. You know, they got calls from Indian reservations in the United <laughs> States saying, "What did you say?" <laughs> Smoke signals, you, you got it, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, you got it. All right, here we go. Um, oh, I think we, I think we might be able to find the video here in just a little while. Uh, well, anyways, um, uh, we're you, you guys are know how fun I am of uh, LPG. Mm -hmm. Of course. All right, so now the LPG is just getting basically to all levels. Uh, also trying to cater to the tricycle drivers. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, sometimes, you know, people focus on, okay, there's a lot of emission from, from the buses, from the chimneys, from this one, that one. And then, <coughs> but people don't know basically the tricycles. It's because, you know, they are in the inner streets. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not in the main streets and everything, but they're normally in the inner streets. But uh, have you seen how much smoke comes out of a two-stroke motorcycle? Engine? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Yeah. Now the question is, why do they use a two-stroke uh, engine until now? Cheap. Uh, power. Power. Yes. Quicker. Yeah. It's good. Yes. Yeah. Why? Why is the reason it's, it's, it's powerful? Is because while well, you have uh, less moving parts, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have a camshaft, you don't have valve spring, you don't have valves, mm -hmm. you don't have uh, timing chain or whatever. Yeah, you don't so. Have conscience. You have no conscience. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Yeah, so that's 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 basically um, the, the the theme right now. You know, not not asking them to because before you know, say no, everybody has to go now to four stroke. Yeah. But is it really feasible for the people? I mean, for a tricycle driver to make a efficient investment? I don't know. Let's so, talk to our, our guests. And okay. Yeah, let's see. So we we'll came in already. All right. Because you won't maybe be able to find maybe you want to do a live Gangnam. Just watch. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to wing this one. All right, we'll just have to fix it in post. <laughs> okay, wait, I think we we, we do that. Oh, there. Why don't you introduce our guests? Uh, All okay. right, uh, we have him here with us, um, uh, David. David. David Williams. Yeah, and Horizon. Horizon Kitano. Yeah, uh, they are <laughs> the ones actually right now doing the development on on the LPG though. So, David, tell us how, how did you start it, all, all this? Boy, I'd go, go back five years or even more. Mm -hmm. Horizon has been working with this technology for uh, probably eight years or so. and. And, and let me back up. You guys were mentioning the pollution levels. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea, there's about 50 cars worth of pollution from each one of these two-stroke engines. Wow. So every time a tricycle takes off, just imagine 50 cars following that tricycle, and that's the pollution level you're talking about. We estimate that there's 100 million <coughs> of them running around the world. These two-stroke engines still, still in operation, excess of a million of them in the Philippines. If you add up all those 100 million, that's 5 billion cars worth of pollution. That's 10 times as much pollution as every automobile in the world. The whole world. That's scary so stuff. So it's scary stuff. That's really scary. <coughs> scary stuff. So Horizon has been working on this technology for 10 years probably or more. Uh, we've uh, fine-tuned things and gotten an LPG fuel injected. And actually I'm going to let Horizon talk about the technology. Uh, but we've got a product that comes in 
18,000 pesos or so. We have microfinance loans arranged for the drivers. Uh, the fuel consumption is dropped significantly and then the added benefit of the LPG, we're able to get practically double the driver's income because his fuel costs are cut about in half. Are you talking about only two strokes or? The, the initial kit that we'll be de we have developed and we'll be launching here probably within the next 60 days uh, is a two stroke, mainly because they are the big polluters. Yeah. So those yeah. are the ones that the, the mayors are all concerned <coughs> about and, and want to outlaw and so forth. So, but they, they don't have a law at the moment that's facing them well, out? Or actually, there are laws in several, <coughs> many of the LGUs and the city mayors and things have, have passed laws but there, there is no political will to outlaw and actually get the bikes off the street. Yeah. And then, then, then applying something retroactively is very difficult because the people already own these vehicles, they're already in the field, to come up with new legislation and say, hey, that bike you have, by the way, you can't drive anymore because we have a new stricter emissions limit. Uh, that's something a lot of governments are not willing to do just because you get so much pushback. From yeah, it's anti-poor or considered anti-poor. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's not really going to work fine, though. So. Basically, what, what they're uh, right now focusing on is uh, in, in this technology. Also, because uh, there is something really tricky on the on the two-stroke engine. The two-stroke engine, a difference of the other engines, you know, the four-stroke engine, you have a container for the oil. Mm -hmm. The two-stroke, you know, the oil is is mixed with the with the fuel. Mm -hmm. But as being mixed with the fuel, the fuel also works like a kind of a solvent. Mm -hmm. So it wipes out the whole oil, and you need to put actually more oil to be able to keep the lubricity inside the engine. Yes. With the LPG, aside of being a, a cheaper fuel, generating less CO2, now the, the motorcycles can use less uh, oil as well. Mm. So, and then Horizon has uh, developed a new ECU. The, okay, one thing is the carburetor. Carburetor, you know, put fuel and air together. Fuel injection, put fuel and air together when it's needed. Right, so just the way the efficiency is a lot higher. Okay, all right. So you're using 18,000 pesos for uh, for an average conversion kit. What's the ROI? Have you worked that out on the average? Well, the drivers typically, we, again, we were able to get microfinance organizations lined up. Driver does not have to do any down payment, no, and, and installment payments over about a year, nine months to a year. Actually, if they apply all of their savings, the payback is about six months. Uh, with the with the loan that we've arranged for them, uh, we have one year loans. They're saving extra money. While they're paying the loan, they're still putting extra money in their pocket, maybe fifty, hundred. So, what's the pay. resistance that you've come across, if any? Really, I don't think we have seen much resistance. Everyone that that <coughs> tries it basically says, "Hey, how soon can we buy these?" Yeah. Um, it's a fuel switch, and that that's kind of a paradigm shift for some users. They're used to filling up with gasoline, and you know, and, and some of the issues we Will see. Will this be dual fuel still? So no, we have a dual fuel kit. We're going to introduce the mono fuel kit initially, mm -hmm. and then later we'll have a. a dual so you replace fuel. that tank. The, uh, does it sit? The where does it physically there? sit? Okay. The, the the LPG tank itself can sit in a number of places. Some go on the back of the bike. Some go between the bike and the sidecar on the tricycles. Uh, the nicest arrangement is it goes below the seat of the passengers in the tricycle. It's hidden from view. Nobody's going to mess with it. And no, no, it doesn't eat into passenger space. No, yeah, no. That would be, that would be a concern. So, do you? What do you need? Uh, what are you chasing? Are you chasing legislation? Are you chasing ordinances? Um, Actually, we have uh, several of the mayors already lined up, and uh, and you were asking about the dual fuel. Mm -hmm. They don't want a dual fuel because they don't want the drivers to be able to go back to gasoline and be polluting again. Why would they so, want to go back to gasoline if they had Well, the, frankly, commercially, mm -hmm. there's no, no need to and no desire. We have about 35 prototypes running now. We've racked up a little <laughs> over 100,000, maybe all oh, actually probably 150,000 kilometers worth of data at this point. So, uh, and the one thing we didn't mention, I think the tailpipe emission, emissions are reduced roughly 80%. 80%. Yeah. Something, something 80%. That's wow. huge. That's absolutely huge. Now, what about LPG supply? Um, these guys are going to be in barangays. I, mean, yeah. I used to drive an LPG car. It was fine with me. I would pick up a gas station along my way to work. But these guys are operating in a local area. Sure, sure. We've um, <coughs> the, the mayors are so excited about it because they're able to have something that works without, uh, you know, again, helping these low-income wage earner drivers. Uh, so they're not displacing them if they outlaw them and just take them off the streets. You're having to 
replace that transport mode mm -hmm. with something else. I mean, yeah. it rush hour time, everybody's on the tricycle and, and they need to keep moving. And if you just remove half of those, and roughly half of these bikes running on the street today are mm -hmm. two strokes. So um, the, the mayors love us and they're already saying, hey, we're happy to let you uh, drive even though the, the LPG station is on a major thoroughfare. We'll let the drivers go there for fueling and so forth. We've actually also got uh, all of the major LPG suppliers, auto gas suppliers, uh, have said that they'll actually put micro stations uh, in the areas, in the barangays or where cl four clusters of the totas where the tricycle owner driver. All right. We, we, we uh, sadly have to wrap it up because we're, we got another live show coming up. But um, how big is the tank and how long does that tank last in kilometers? It's about six liters and, and roughly they can get about a day to a day and a half. Okay. So out of that they can't fill up at the end of the day. It's roughly the size of a super Kalan <clears throat> tank, tank if you're familiar with that. All right. And there's various sizes. You can get 10 liters and bigger. We run 20 liter tanks in Malaysia. All right, and the, the best part of this is after a certain hour, they can just put a little burner so and do eat out, eat out <laughs> stuff. So it's a, a double purpose. Sorry, guys, we, we got to kind of leave it there. We're getting the nod from, uh, we have a live show coming in from LA. And uh, so we have to leave it there. But we thank you very much for coming on the show. If, if you, you want to learn more, clean engines. Yes, I was going to say, how do you? Cleanengines.com. Cleanengines.com. And we're based here in the Philippines. Development's gone on, on Malaysia in the, in the engines lab. but. Uh, all That's manufactured one word, here in the engines. Clean dash engines. Clean dash engines. Or a Google search. Clean engines, Google search, it gets you right there. All right, well, there you go. If you have a conscience, if you have a two stroke and you want to you save go. the earth, I mean, 80%. If you want to save money. Yeah, and save money. You can't yeah. also argue with those figures. 80% reduction, plus, of course, you are saving money and saving the planet at the same time. That's a pretty good deal in anyone's language, right? All right, so until next week, we'll be back with Counterflow. On behalf of our guests, I'm James Deacon. Pacho Blanco, God bless. Alan behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.